Hello everyone. In this chapter, we will learn about smooth step function. Smooth step is one of the very important functions if you want to create fading patterns. What we will do in this chapter is first we will understand how smooth step function works and then we will understand how we will use this function to create fading patterns. One of the very basic property of smooth step function is that it returns a value between 0 to 1. It is also similar to the normalization function. But there are two very basic differences between normalization and smooth step. With smooth step function, we squeeze a value based on a provided range. So this is the range between high and low value. And then we will squeeze a value between 0 to 1 based on this given range of low and high. Another difference is that smooth step function does not give you linear results. So smooth step function's graph will look something like this. And you can remember it by shape S as smooth step function starts with character S. As we understood that smooth step function will always return a value between 0 to 1. So this will become our returning scale. Whatever smooth step function will return will lie in this range of this scale. And this will be another axis of our graph where we will fit in the range value given to the smooth step function. So this will be range low and this is the range high, the higher range. And this will be our graph based on which we will map a value on the returning scale. So this is our returning scale. Final value will be returned based on this scale. And the x-axis of this graph is the range scale. That's where we will fit in the range provided to the smooth step function. So what smooth step function does that any value provided in this range will be mapped on this graph and wherever this graph hits this returning scale, this value will be returned by smooth step function. So as we said that using smooth step function, we bring a value in between 0 to 1 based on a provided range. That means smooth step function will take at least three parameters. First, it will take the lower range, the low value of the range. The second parameter is the high value of the range. So using these two parameters, we will define the range given to the smooth step function. And the third parameter is the value that we want to squeeze in between 0 to 1 based on this range. Now let's understand with the help of an example that how we will bring the value in between 0 to 1 based on a range. So we have our smooth step function. The lower range value we provide is 0 and the higher range value we are providing is 10. And the value that we want to squeeze in between is 5. So the low range value comes at this corner and the high range value comes at this corner. And the value we are providing, which is 5, will lie somewhere here on this scale, which is at the center of the scale. And then we will map a value onto this graph first, which is this curve, and then on the returning scale. So whichever value comes at this point will be returned, which in this case is 0.5. So 0 0.5 will be returned by smooth step function. This example we made a little bit easier because we provided a value that is within the range of 0 to 10. What happens if the value is outside this range? If value is anywhere in this range that is beyond the range of higher value, smooth step function will return one and if the value 
is beyond the lower range value, the smooth step function will return zero. So this graph looks like this extended graph. It will be extended as 